take a look at how beautiful this carpet looks like a stained glass window. Love it. This carpet you can put on either side of your front door because you can open the door over it. It's low profile. Those of you who are lucky enough to have some kind of deck or something like that that gets hot, you can put it there on the outside. And it does a lot more than that. That's why we've got John Holt back with us. <laughs> um, three different colorways. If you guys have it and you want to give us a call, we'd love to hear from you. The size that we have today is a 24 by 36. It's V32998. All right. Oh, that's good for the cats. Yeah, put, yeah. put your bowl Absolutely. on it. Absolutely. I have a boxer that drools when he walks away from his water dish and it, it just catches <laughs> the water. Now, this is a, a cleaning product, the only cleaning product in the show that actually cleans for you. You don't have to use it. You just walk across it and it works. Now, Pat, we when we get a commercial cleaning job, we put commercial cleaning mats in front of every single entrance of the buildings. It cuts our cleaning in half. What we've done for QVC is we brought a commercial cleaning mat but here's what we didn't do. We didn't give you the commercial looking mat, mm -hmm. right? This pattern we made just for QVC, a nice circular pattern. Now, here's the thing. If you've used our microfiber towels, you know how absorbent they are. Same kind of materials bonded to the rubber, okay? This has a commercial backing on it, which has all these mm -hmm. little rubber nubs. Which doesn't move. Exactly. Doesn't makes curl it non-slip. That's, that's part of having a commercial quality mat. Now, our rubber is actually the shape of the pattern. This will never flatten out. You can almost see the pattern right here in the rubber. So you, you can these mats will never lose their shape. If you ever bought something that kind of flattens out after a mm -hmm. while, that's not this mat. And look at the profile. That, this is why you can use it indoors mm -hmm. or out because it, it'll actually, your doors will swing right over top of it. This is the fiber bonded to the back of the rubber. Let me show you exactly how it works. Okay, Pat. while now, you do that, would you mind if I just tell oh, everybody yeah, the yeah, color yeah. names? Yeah. Um, Hunter Green. Then you were holding the tan. That's right. And then the brick is a very pretty sort of burgundy color. So brick, tan, hunter green. You decide, buy more than one because you'll want more than you, one. Well, if these. you have four doors, yeah. you should have a mat at every single door. And this gives you the opportunity to have the same pattern at every mm -hmm. door. Now, the reason for the pattern on the mat, well, a couple things. It, it helps scrape the dirt off your feet. When, when if it's just dry dirt, this actually creates static and it pulls the dirt to the mat off of your feet. If you're coming in out of the rain, watch what happens to the water here. I'm gonna oversaturate the center of this mat. Instantly it absorbs all of that moisture. But you see what's happening? The top of the mat is almost dry already. The water wicks right down to the bottom. This is what traps the moisture in the dirt down here. That's why the pattern is raised up. So you're walking across a clean, dry mat. Now, here's the other thing, Pat. When you walk into your house, your door is 36 inches mm -hmm. wide. Why would you ever buy something <laughs> that is yeah. 18 inches wide? And this is a hunk of rubber. It does absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. It welcomes all the dirt right into your house. If you properly mat every single entrance to your home, we figured it out. 80% of the dirt that comes into your home comes in on your feet. If you mat your doors, you stop mm -hmm. the dirt at the door. You're gonna cut your cleaning in half. You're gonna have to sweep, vacuum, and mop less, and you're gonna do it with a good looking mat. Behind you, you <laughs> have, and John has heard my story, yeah. and perhaps you all have heard my story. When my dog was older, um, I had to put um, rugs down everywhere because she couldn't, the floor was too slippery for her. That you have in your hand, I bought it at a big box yeah, store. It looks like a um, commercial mat. Yeah. It's not, it's this ugly. This part would inevitably go up this way, and I Curl was up. tripping over <laughs> it, and then I was trying to tape it to the floor. It was a nightmare, right. and those aren't that cheap. Plus, they're ugly as anything. Yeah, and this has a smooth rubber band. Yeah. which is slippery. Ours has that r ribbed mm -hmm. And it ha yours has weight to it. Uh, yeah, so these, it these things weigh down. a few pounds. When you put this down, mm -hmm. it's down. Mm -hmm. They don't curl up. So when you get this home, here, when, it's gonna be delivered in a box, yes. obviously, just like this, okay? You're gonna take it out of the box. Within one hour, it's going to lay completely mm -hmm. flat and stay flat. It won't curl up on the edges All like right. you were talking about. You talk about. about front door and back door. I'll tell you where I also have put mine. Um, the fridge. Because sure. somehow, never have much in my fridge, but it always <laughs> manages to fall out of well, the fridge. All these new fridges have the ice and water, yes. and you always get a puddle in front of your fridge. Yeah. And if you've On got hardwood, hardwood floor, it'll, it's mm -hmm. going to eventually seep in. This will protect it. Put it in front of your sink. If you drop a glass mm -hmm. or something, 
it, it won't, it, chances are it mm -hmm. won't break if it hits the mat. Okay, I got another one for you. In front of your washer dryer, because you know I have bought that pretty little <laughs> thing that said washer dryer laundry room. You can't wash that. This, you take outside and you hose off. Watch. Yeah, we got this mat overly dirty intentionally, and you're going to see it in just a second here. All we have to do is take a garden hose outside, because these are really too big to go into your washing machine. Right, right. The, these are stain resistant and fade resistant. It's just a garden hose. Now let it air dry over your deck rail, throw it back in front of your door, it's good mm -hmm. to go. Now when you, when you rub your feet on these, it, it's a commercial fiber bonded to the rubber. Mm -hmm. It doesn't ball up into fuzzy balls like, right, like, right. like the cheap yeah, scatter mat you buy. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many times mm -hmm. you rub on this, yep. you're not rubbing the fiber mm -hmm. off of the mat. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a yep. commercial mat. It wouldn't have Don Asset's name on it. Do you know how many of the throwaway <laughs> mats I bought, the cute, adorable mats oh, yeah. I bought, where this you don't have to worry. So most of you are buying at least two, one for the front door, back door. You can put it on the outside or you can put it on the inside of the door also because the door will pull over it. There's right. no worries and with that. This is a popular cocoa mat. A yeah. lot of you guys have them outside. I mean, they're going to get some of the dirt off your people. Once these get wet, they stay wet. The water goes right through it. It, it saturates they're your deck. Mess. These mm -hmm. things shed. They smell like a mm -hmm. dead raccoon after a year, okay? Mm -hmm. Get rid of it, okay? Mm -hmm. That's totally only 24 agree. inches wide. Here, I'll show you. Your door's 36. Mm -hmm. Why would you put a 24-inch mat in front of it? This goes all the way out to 36, and it's 24 inches deep. This is not as deep or as wide. This is not the proper way to mat your, your, your doors. Mm -hmm. This is front door, side door, garage door, basement door. If you have four, the average house yep. has 4.3 doors. Yeah, that's excellent, the basement door. I don't know door. who's got the point three, but okay. that could be the doggy door, I guess, <laughs> all right? And don't forget, in front of the refrigerator, in front of the washer dryer, we were all saying to John, you can put two in some of the mudrooms, depending on, you know, your yeah. home, um, on both sides of the door. I mean, they're good looking, they're great quality, they're wonderful investments for 20 24 dollars and we'll bring them to your home yeah and you know if you have a hot tub when you step out of it that mm -hmm. concrete's really slippery put this on your concrete it's oh, non-slip yes. your feet will not slide mm -hmm. and this is in front of your door now i suggest if you're going to use it outdoors have it under a covered porch because the rain will get it wet obviously but look just mm -hmm. a few leaves a couple grains of, of salt a couple pine needles over the course of a year 40 pounds of dirt enters your home this will easily stop 80% of it. And look at door swings right over the top of it, indoors or out.